Alright, here we go. Welcome back to our channel everybody. This is IP8. This is our part 2 video. Uh, we're in the woods behind the All Saints Church, Dale Abbey. Uh, we're now approaching the steps. It's leading us up to the Hermit's Cave in Hermit's Wood. Again, we're going to have a history below in the description. So we're going to do an investigation here, how long it takes. So uh, let's just go and have a little look, shall we? We came here during the day just to get a look early on today, just to um, take some daytime photos. Quite a lot of steps here quite a climb but uh, camera don't do it justice but as you can see right down there it's quite a it's quite a drop there we go wow look at the trees now like just there where the trees coming out I know like mangroves innit here we go guys just get your Look on the outside of it. Um, it's cave. The whole wooded area is uh, quite spooky. People come here, don't they? For barbecues. Yeah. And drinking. Drinking and barbecues have been known here. So yeah, we're going to have a bit of a history in the description here below of this place. Um, I should point out that this section here has been re-bricked up at some point in time. I reckon that this had some sort of shelter built onto the front, judging by the holes there, there, there and there's about four there altogether, four or five. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah. Apparently it did been here, didn't it, from 11.30? Yeah, it's as far back as 11.30. I can read you a little bit of the description. 1130 AD, a baker in Darbe called Cornelius had a dream in which the Virgin Mary, mother of Jesus, told him to go to Dippendale, the old name for this place, and worship God. The baker responded to God's call and came here. He dug the cave in the hillside and lived in it for about 20 years. So, Just worshipping. Yeah, around 1150, that was 20 years later, he moved down the hill and built an oratory, a small private chapel with living accommodation on the site of Dale Abbey Church. So, there'll be a bit more history in the description. So, there you go, so we'll conduct the investigation here just to see. We'll do some bits out here and the main bits inside well, I'll tell you one thing, as soon as you enter here it, it hits you doesn't it oh, I'll just press the EVP button in the back pocket That was Cornelius. <laughs> I don't know. Right, I'll do a EMF first. There's a cross that you can just see make out there engraved. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether that was the original. It says something about the cross where and the holes where you put candles. Yeah, I think the these are the I think these are the holes here where you put candles in. And there's a Another one here. This one's got like a cross right down to at the end there, look. I think this part, I'm not sure if this part here was a praying area. Yeah, it looks like a little font area here. This cut out here. He lived over that side, I think. Is this spirit called Cornelius here? Resides here? Even though you didn't die here, but did you reside here? Do you visit this place still? Can you make yourself known to us, please? 
Did you like being a hermit? Do you like to answer some questions? All you have to do is touch this glow ball with my hand up. Doesn't do anything, just glows up. You can answer yes or no. When it stops, all you have to do is touch it like that, be a hand or anything. <clears throat> okay. Is Cornelius here? The baker. If Cornelius isn't here, then is somebody else? Any other spirit resides here wants to come down and uh, communicate with us or make yourself known to us any way possible? If so, just touch that board. If there is anybody here, could you come forward and touch that board, please? What's up, Mister? Something. You just don't like it in there, do you? Pretty, 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 pretty. The dog doesn't like it in here for some reason. Is there any entities here? Is there any sacrilegious things done here? Could possibly be something. Yeah. If there's any spirits residing in this place, any at all, we ask you to come down, come yes. forth, come towards us. Any spirits at all that's been trapped here or just reside here for any reason, come forward towards us, please. Cornelius, are you here? Orb, light orb. If you are here, could you light that ball on the floor? It could have been a fly, but. I'd like to talk to you. Just like to know if Matt, the Virgin Mary really did tell you to come here. I actually think she did. Can you make yourself known to us? Either touch us or throw a little stone or something? Or touch that board in the middle of the floor for me. That will acknowledge that you're here for us. You just have to touch it. Yeah. <laughs> Can you did touch you? that board for us, please? Do you like living here? How come they didn't stay here? It must have been very low then. Can you show yourself to us? You can see us, but we can't see you. It's not very fair. Come forward and show yourself. Use our manager. Hold our hand and use our energy. Can you touch that little white ball on the floor for me, please? If you're able to, use our energy to help. I'm not here to harm you or tell people. We just want to know. Touch the ball, please. This is where I saw the anomaly. Yeah. It went sort of up he, here like that. He probably does reside here sometimes, but it must go out of his nerves. It could have been and a fly. Kids come in and get drunk and wreck his house. And... Do you like living here? Yeah. Do you like living here? Do you like living here? Do you like living here? Hello. Nice to meet you, Cornelius, if you're here. Right. Or any of the spirits, if they're here. I'm going to put that there. Can you see that
I know. Although the spirits residing in this cave, can you come foot? To see another one going, but that could have been a, an insect. session Session a hermit's cave. Oh, I need to put it down in something. I need to put it down. Uh, it's one of them holes. Oh. Okay. It's hard to find, anyway. Right. Okay, EVP session, hermit's cave. Ask any spirits if they reside here, Cornelius or any other spirit, they ask you to come forward, come down. That's the dog. She just walked into And try and make yourself known to us. In the wall here, I have a little device that can hear anything that you wish to say. If you want to talk to it or talk out loud, it will be able to pick you up. What is your name? Is Cornelius here? Are there spirits residing here? How many spirits are here? Are you happy? Are you at peace now? Or are you still haunting these? This cave. Do you, have, do you have anything to say? Could you do that again? I heard something. That like what? Like raindrop falling, but it was raining. Unless something fell off the tree. You could have anything fall off trees. You could have little bits of gravel that fall off. You can hear it again. It's just there if you come here. You have to stand dead still and hear it. It's just like footsteps. Listen. Can you hear that? That right, clear. It's like something dripping. It's possible you get a lot of moisture runs off this place. The dog doesn't like it in there. Don't usually take Mitzi on the ghost hunts with us, but we have to bring because I can't leave her where we're sta where we're staying. Years, it's a long time. <laughs> I'd like to 
Probably is more on him. Come out from the case bits if you reside there. Come out towards us. Come out towards us if you're able to. Come as you are. Show yourself as you once was. say 98% of the stories that are told are just stories it's a 2% yeah so but it's supposed to be recorded yeah but how could you know back in the 11th century well it was documented yeah. they used to document on um, scrolls and things didn't they? tablets yeah but has anyone ever seen these oh I don't know somebody resided here it's definitely not um, a natural formation, this ain't. No. This has been dug out. I mean, these have been here for thousands of years, I'd say. All these caves. Dog is named for caves, isn't it? No. I guess we'll really have an area. It does say they're graffiti and not what people have done. Yeah, see this area here, you see, looks more like a, a font sort of thing. Yeah. You know, where you put a cross or you put like uh, an offering. It's definitely been chipped out of sand. This is all sandstone mm -hmm. and it's chipped out of sandstone. It's definitely been carved. It must have taken a long time. Sandstone doesn't take long if you've got the right tools. What's all these bits? Oh, they're pebbles that's in the sandstone. Right. See, that must have been a candle. Oh. He's very clever, actually. Isn't he? I'm surprised it collapsed on him. That was a little nest there, look. What? Little that's... Jenny Wren, it's got eggs in there. Oh. See, Jenny Wren. Can you come forward, spirits, if you're able to? Can you come forward towards me, where my partner is? Can you come towards me? You come back over here, put that torch. Huh?
any spirits residing in this place, Cornelius or any other spirit, I ask you to come forward out of the cave or in the area of the cave. Can you come forward, make yourself known to me please? Come forward. Come forward. What? Do they call this place? What? This place. Hermitage Wood. It's not actually called that. The old place is called Deppedale. Deppedale Wood. But they changed the name. Yeah. Is this Deppedale Wood? Deppedale Wood. Is that what this place is called? Deppedale Wood. spirits residing here. I ask you to come forward please. Don't show yourself to me any shape or form. Please try as hard as you can. Use our energy. Can you show me something before we leave? Come forward, spirit. I know what that movement was. What? It's the bird going into that nest. That's probably what the um, that white anomaly I've seen in that corner. forward spirits if you're able to you make yourself known to me use our energy to do so just show yourself it in any form even a white orb if you can anything like that or can you touch this device I have in my hand can you touch it make it flash can you touch it? Come forward. Come forward, please. Do you make yourself known to us before we leave? It feels as if, like, um, it feels like, you know, claustrophobic sort of feel. Yeah. But... I knew that. It originally, in 1880, a picture was taken of it by Victorians, yeah, and posted. And if you compare the 1880 picture now, it's actually a bit different. Mm -hmm. Because you can see the big window that was carved, but now it's even bigger, yeah? So it looks like more people have been digging. Right, you've got the entrance hole and then the window next to it. But now there's two entrances, aren't there? Dave? Yeah. But there was only one entrance to start with, with two windows. But there weren't no little window, so that must be new. If you look at it on here, look. They said here that it's been tampered around with over the years. During the war, they think that they might have used it, you know, for like dugouts and soldiers would probably yeah. used it they would have used anything like that but look see what i mean there's the door yeah this window didn't have a gap look someone's carved a gap now to make it bigger scheduled ancient monument yeah. 
and someone's carved another window in. Look, yeah, so that is called the Hermit's Cave and this is and Hermit's Wood. That gap you see is there, but next to it was a window. But mm. someone's turned it into a door now. Unless it's eroded over yeah, the years. Yeah, it said it possibly could all. They reckon it was something to do with World War II. Yeah, it could be. Um, using the stone and stuff like that. I don't think. But yeah, that's true. Um, there's not really much in there. Well, there is. Shut up, what's the matter? She can hear things. I can as well. But it could be anybody. Make me jump. You don't usually bark like that. Unless... I think there's a dog somewhere down there. What can you hear, Mitt? What can you hear? What's up, Mitt? It's fudge. Okay, are we finished up here now? You was disappointed, weren't you? Don't mm. matter, we'll just keep trying. These stumps are quite dangerous, isn't it? Yeah. You got the cat ball? Yeah. Did you pick that EMF up? Yeah. Did you pick up the EVP? Yeah. That's good then. And I'll pick this up. I'm a lead. My Are there any spirits residing in these woods? What is it, Mitz? Come forward, if you are. Come forward. It's very peaceful. Everywhere. Yeah. What's up? Do you feel a bit creeper? Mm. Yeah, there's just natural noises of the woods and that. Mm. Looks like smoke over there. Yeah, it's someone's got a fire over there. Yeah, there's a lot There's rocky outcrops up there as well. I thought that was it first. Mm. But I thought it can't be. It's big. Well, anybody knows that could have been. Could have it in. Yeah, this um, this hermit's cave is, looks similar to Anchor Church. There's another cave somewhere. Yeah, Thor's cave. I call it Thor's cave. I don't can't remember where that is now. We haven't done that. Yeah, I think that leads right to the top, to the other side of the woods. If you go to the top and turn left, it takes you to a, a wood walk. But then if you go to the other side, it takes you to the village. Down there, what way? Yeah. Oh, have you got the, the lead, by the way? Yeah. What's that? An old garden thing. Yeah, the gazebo. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's not only I'm off um, sound of music, but I should start dancing in it. Oh, I've got a 60. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Eleven point five degrees centigrade out here. Hey. It's eleven and a half degrees centigrade. Hmm. Cooler in here than it is out. Yeah. It's lovely. It is. I like the woods. It's always safe for me. Most people see woods as murder scenes. Yeah. Or weirdos living in. Well, the only noise he's normally to hear in woods is birds and animals floating around anyway. It's actually more safer to be in the wood than it is into a town. It's quite it's a drop down there. Attacked. It is if you fell from the top. Yeah. Darby's known for this, isn't it? Darby's here, yeah.
I've got the long walk down. Right, that's the way we've just come. Uh, so that's the church. You can see that old abbey as well. Yeah. About in the distance. Yeah. I love the summer for oh, spring lights. Mm. It's nearly ten at night. Look how light it is. Hey. Yeah, I know. Right, so that about wraps it up then for this um, this video. Mm -hmm. We hope you enjoyed it. Not much collected on evidence, but a bit of beautiful place. So it's a nice place to investigate, and it made a change from doing graveyards and churches. Well, that, that last <laughs> church we did in the first part was good because we actually went inside the church. Can't normally do that, yeah. but um, it's good investigation. Um, good bit of story and history to it. How much of that is true, we won't know. So. But it was still worth going up there, weren't it? Every place is worth doing, regardless mm. whether they true hauntings or not. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And watch all the uh, videos. Helps build our channel. Yeah, keep subscribing and liking. Yep, so till next time, bye bye. Hello. Good night.